This is the VOA Special English Education Report. Some schools in the United States and other countries offer Chinese language classes with government support from China. St. Mary's School is a private college preparatory school in Medford, Oregon, in the Pacific Northwest. Carly Irvine is in her fourth year of learning Mandarin. She says, Since China and America are working so closely and our relationship is growing more and more, I think it will be very important in the future to know Chinese. St. Mary's also teaches Spanish, German, and Latin. It added Mandarin in 2005. Two years ago, it became the first school in the country to join the Confucius Classroom Program. The program pays about half the cost of a teacher sent to the school in the United States. China's Education Ministry also provides books and other materials. St. Mary's principal, Frank Phillips, says knowing Chinese will help students in a world where China is quickly gaining economic power. But he admits to concerns in his local community. He says, the question I always get is, is this a gigantic propaganda move? Is this an evil communist plot on the part of China? From what I can detect, having been involved in it for two years, I see none of that. In fact, the program has won the support of his local representative in the state legislature. Dennis Richardson says he has concerns about human rights in China. But he is among several lawmakers who have been pushing for more Chinese language education in public schools in Oregon. Jiang Ling, a teacher at St. Mary's, came from China in 2008. She says, People do not know much about China, especially the latest development. So I think this is a chance for them to know more about China, what China is really like. It's quite different from what it was 20 years ago. The Confucius Classroom Program is in about 40 countries including more than 50 American schools and universities. A recent report said more schools in the United States are teaching Chinese and Arabic, although the numbers are still low. But it said foreign language teaching in public elementary and middle schools dropped sharply in recent years. Some schools say a federal law that only measures progress in math and reading has hurt language teaching. And that's the VOA Special English Education Report.